Hey everybody, what's going on? It's Josh right here, back again with another video on MLB The Show 24. And as you can see, the Rockies have lived to see another day. They are heading for the Division Series. This is Game 2 against the Dodgers. The Dodgers already won the first game of the series. And so now we're hoping to... Uh, this is a must-win game for the Rockies. Well, every postseason game is a must-win game. But we win this game, we will send the series back to Colorado with the series tied at a game apiece. If not, then, uh, well, we're going to be one game away from facing elimination. So, Joey Gibbs on the mound for the Rockies in Game 2. Obviously, that's why we're making this video. While the Dodgers are sending out Tyler Glass now to the mound. Nobody, and I mean nobody, probably expected the Rockies to make this to make the postseason I didn't even expect us to make the postseason as you guys know if you guys have been watching this series like I, I keep saying it doesn't matter how good Joey Gibbs pitches you know it, it may not 100% impact on how good the Rockies get play so so starting things off bottom of the first inning Freddie Freeman leading off hitting 200 in game one, hits a ground ball to Montero at first. That is out number one. So somehow, some way, we were actually able to sweep the Braves. Um, in the last game I did, um, I simulated the rest of the wild card series, and the Rockies end up losing. But I went back, I uh, I logged out and everything, and uh, I forgot to save it. So. Uh, we were able to, so the next time I, I came on the save, it uh, turns out we actually won the next game, so we were able to go to the division series and play the Dodgers, which means this series actually gets to live to see another day. How about that? Mookie Betts is gone, two outs. First strikeout for Gibbs, here comes Otani. End up pitching game one for the Dodgers. End up having a very good day at both at the plate, as you can see. And he also had a really good day on the mound. Herman Marquez pitched game one for us, and he got absolutely shelled. They should have had Joey pitch game one, but hmm, that's just me. Or maybe Walker Buehler should have pitched game one. I don't know. But what I do know is this is a fly ball to... Deep center field, catch is made, and we are heading for the second inning. And uh, Max Muncie will lead off for the Dodgers. First pitch, strike one to Max Muncie, who's one for four in the Dodgers game one victory. Here comes the 0 2. Fastball struck him out. It would be funny if we actually somehow, some way won this series. Like, that would be so hilarious if we won this series against the Dodgers and then make it to the World Series. I mean, 81 wins. So we've pretty much finished right at the 500 mark. And we were good enough to go to the playoffs. Like, that's that's just funny enough. And then we won a playoff series against the Atlanta Braves. It, like that That's funny. That's hilarious to me. Will Smith's gone two away. And, uh, oh, not to mention, Joey Gibbs kills the Dodgers. Like, if, if you've seen his last few starts against the Dodgers, you know Joey Gibbs owns these guys. So Joey Gibbs is going into this game feeling pretty confident in himself, knowing that uh, he does well against the Dodgers. And he's going to go out there, pitch his mind out. He'll pitch until uh, his arm falls off, pretty much. He will pitch until he tears his rotator cuff or something like that, I don't know. 0-2 to Oscar. It's a high fly ball to left field. Catch is made by, I think that's Sean Bouchard out in left field. Let me check real quick. It is Sean Bouchard. He he was playing like 
a lot of different positions throughout this uh, throughout the season. So I'm just making sure that's him. All right, bottom of the third inning. Rockies can't score off Tyler Glass now. So far, the Dodgers have not been able to do the same against Joey Gibbs. Um, have a meeting today at noon, so I gotta be super quick making this video, and then I'm gonna um, get ready for the day. Well, technically, I, I guess I'm already ready for the day, but have a meeting today with my record label at 12 o'clock today. I'm recording this on a Friday. Friday, um, October 18th is when I'm recording this at 8.17 in the morning. Uh, for those of you who don't know, I'm taking a intern class. And pretty much like an intern is pretty much, you know, you're, you know, you're at a job uh, for, you know, like a short amount of time. And you're pretty much just learning, you know, the whole idea of having a job. And so since I am a, a media student, I would have to find a job that was media related. And my one of my professors is actually uh, the guy that runs our college's record label, which I had no idea that we owned um, until like earlier in the school year. And he's like, uh, if you can't find anything uh, for your intern class, pretty much uh, the record label's high is looking for some interns. Uh, I can give you. Um, a, I can give you a position if you want it, and I'm like, yeah, I'll take it, because I was having a hard time finding uh, places that would hire me. So I went to the record label. We've been having meetings on, on Fridays, and pretty much we've just been talking about, you know, possibly signing a new artist, like getting a new band signed. You know, we are currently working on a student from last year we who I'm actually pretty good friends with like we've been working on his song like he's got like a demo that we're working on and that's really cool so uh, that's what we're actually meeting for today so so today's meeting is just you know another one of those you know meet for a couple hours work on work on the song kind of brainstorm some ideas for this song and all that type of stuff. So fastball to Max Muncy taken. One ball, one strike. The Rockies have a 2-0 lead. <laughs> Getting back to the game here. It's a nice little transition going from music to, uh, to baseball. 2-1 count. Max Muncy hits a little pop-up. Glaber Torres is going to make the catch. And that is the first out. So the Rockies got a couple runs. I want to see real quick who scored those two runs. It was uh, Jose Miranda, and it looks like he hit a two-run triple. So that's pretty cool. So it's 2-0 Colorado. Bottom of the fifth inning. Will Smith is up again. This is his second at bat, I want to say. There's a curveball, 0-2. Curveball struck him out again. Strikeout number six for Joey Gibbs. A little flare out to right. Making the catch, Nolan Jones, and we go to... The bottom of the sixth inning, the seven, eight, nine hitters, AKA the bottom half of the Dodger lineup is due up. Here's James Outman, 0 for 1. 132 games played in 2025. He had 122 hits. And he has only one hit in this, um, in this series. 
Not to mention, looks like he'll be a free agent at the end of the year. Hopefully the Rockies can sign him. And uh, he can be a nice little outfielder to have. Just an idea. You know, we could have him in our outfield. Or if not, then, you know, we he'll go to probably another team. I don't, I don't know if he's... I don't know how interested he would be in going into Colorado. There's a pop-up behind home plate. Cuero makes the catch. That's out number one. I was not too sure if he was going to get there in time. He's kind of slow. <laughs> Ji Huan Bay up next. 0 for 1. Juan Bay, was he with the Pirates? Or is he a Pirate in real life? Let's see real quick. Sorry, I don't mean to keep pausing. Yes, he is with the Pirates. Utility guy. I love me, my, uh, my utility players. They're uh, very versatile. This is a hot take, but I think utility players are probably the most... Um, valuable uh, piece to a baseball team. I think that that's just a hot take. I think uh, utility guys are a very valuable source because, like, you know, they're they can play anywhere. They're versatile. You know, they can play almost all nine positions. You know, they may not be the best with the bat, but as long as they have a good glove, I'm pretty sure that that's all that matters. I don't know, that's just me. I think uh, utility players, they don't really get the respect that a lot of other players get. Have a good bat, and uh, of course when you're a position player, you're more valued for your bat than you are with your glove. I mean, that's kind of why these big contracts get you know handed out I mean why do you think guys like Albert Pools got a big contract with the Angels he didn't he didn't get that contract because of his glove no he got it because he can hit which was something he slowly uh, became really bad at when he was with the Angels Like, his first few seasons with the Angels, I mean, he was okay. You know, he wasn't bad. I mean, he, he, it was nothing compared to, you know, what he was doing in St. Louis. And then towards, like, 2016, 2017, yeah, that's when the drop-off started to, like, really hit Robert Pools. And then he kind of became, like, not the same player that he used to be. And then he was released in 2021. Then he goes to the Dodgers of all teams for the rest of 2021. And then 22, he retires with the Cardinals, which he was actually really good with, especially in the second half of the year. And he was our best hitter in September, which, or the Cardinals' best hitter in September, which I don't know for sure if that's supposed to be a good thing or a bad thing. That our best hitter was a 42-year-old Albert Pools, but whatever. Whatever. It was Albert Pools. Pools came back. I. It, it, it was fun. The 2022 Cardinals were a fun team to watch. Just like the uh, 2025 Rockies are, and the Joey Gibbs world are, are a fun team to watch. I mean, come on. 81 and 81 barely making the playoffs won a series against the the Braves were currently six defensive outs away from winning this game against the Dodgers I wish I could find the strike zone this was literally an 0-2 count the, the count was literally 0-2 there we go sit down Otani yeah, why don't you uh, go curse at the third base umpire in Japanese? I'm sorry, but you gotta be. So, that's so, that's obscure. That's funny. I mean, 
You gotta be a special type of person to get chewed out by Shohei Otani of all people. Like Shohei Otani, he just seems like a very like, humble dude. Like a very chill, humble dude. Doesn't he? He seems like he's not very talkative. And then all of a sudden, it's like the third base umpire like makes a bad call, and then Otani, and then you have Otani of all people just chirping at you. Not somebody like you know, Clayton Kershaw or someone who might have like a or a Chris Taylor or whatever just yelling at you. No, no, no. You had Shohei Otani yelling at you. I'm sorry, that's hilarious. 0-2 pitch, Will Smith, curveball, see you later. There's strikeout number 12 for Joey Gibbs. And I'll bring in T. Oscar Hernandez for the third time tonight. Here's the 0-1. Curveball, or fastball, sorry, 0-2. I meant to throw a curveball, but I threw a fastball. Might go back to the fastball here. And we're going to the ninth. Rockies got a 2 nothing lead in game number two of the division series. James Outman 0 for 2. Now 1 for 3 as he hits one in the center field. There's the first hit for the Dodgers. So perfect game. No hitter. That's all gone down the drain. No problem. We just need Jai Juan Bay here to hit and do a double play. And then get the number nine hitter out. And we're out of the game. We're out of trouble. Low in the dirt. And Outman goes to second on a wild pitch. Can't find the strike zone. Bay working the count full three and two. Three two. Struck him out and one away. So that will bring in Joey Weimer and then Freddie Freeman's on deck. Or Weimer, sorry. All right. 0 1 count. Bows off. 